Hello fellow anime fans, it is Corey from Super Kami Guru 9000 and welcome to Legendary Animators Episode 5. Today on Legendary Animators, we're going to take a look at an animator who graduated from Tokyo Design named Yo Yoshinari, the younger brother of Ko Yoshinari, who worked on Pokemon to Gurren Logon. If you guys want to get a little better idea of what Yo Yoshinari's works look like, we're going to put in the description box below some links to some really awesome mad AMV, so make sure and check those out, give them a thumb up, and uh, not a douchey down. Yoshinari is not just a talented animator, but he's also an illustrator, mecha designer, and character designer as well. He started out his career as an animator for Madhouse in 1992, working on OVA series such as Bastard, which, if you haven't seen, it's hilarious, it's a must-view. Also, he's worked on Green Legend Ran and Tokyo Babylon, even though Yo became an employee for Gainax later on. Speaking of Gainax, he's worked on some of the most famous series for them, such as Neon Genesis Evangelion, FLCL, Panty and Stalking with Garter Belt, Gurren Logon, and Die Buster and Gun Buster 2, just to name a few. In 2011, Yo Yoshinari left Gainax with Akira Amamiya to join the director of Hiroyuki Imaishis of such classics like Panty and Stalking and Gurren Logon. They formed the new studio, Trigger. Now what's the best way to describe Yoshinari's animation style? I'd say the best word for it is colorful, because of how vibrant and stylish his characters are sometimes. Although Yo is more well known for his action and explosion scenes, which latter became so recognizable that fans coined the term Yoshinaru Bakuhatsu, otherwise known as Yoshinari Explosion. So how about Yoshinaru's character designs? Well, when drawing characters, Yo usually draws their head in a more rectangular shape than oval, while their eyes tend to be more of that typical anime style. Also, his illustrations, Yo sometimes likes using relatively low contrast shades like you saw in his white album ending. In Yo's action scenes, he doesn't make use of crazy body deformations to portray his movements. Instead, he makes use of interesting camera work that involves close camera shots and a little panning. Now that we know who Yo Yoshinari is, let's take a look at some of the series that he's worked on. Now, like I said earlier, he's worked on Neon Genesis Evangelion, in particular, the final movie of the original series, The End of Evangelion, and he worked on the awesome battle where Asuka fights against the mass-produced Evangelion units. And this is the most brutal scene that's probably done in the entire series. It's got a lot of his signature work all over it, all of the camera pans, all of the explosions. In this fight, guys, you just gotta see it. It is insane. Now... You don't have to pay attention to the story too much because, let's face it, it really doesn't make too much sense. I've seen this movie a billion times and I still don't really know what's going on. But he's also worked on some other crazy movies like Dead Leaves, which, I gotta say, is one of the most visually entertaining anime I've ever seen. The only way I can describe it is if you're injecting crack directly into your eyes as you're skydiving. It is fucking insane. Yoshinari has also worked on my favorite mecha series of all time, Gurren Lagann, and uh, his stamps are all over this series from the character designs and all of the crazy explosions. He worked a little bit on the opening of the series and has worked on some of the biggest action scenes in the series as well, such as Simone and the uh, King having their huge drills clash with each other. He's also worked on Gurren Lagann the movie Childhood's End, where he animated some extended fight scenes from the series, such as Simone's final attack on Adine and Guami, which was really, really awesome. I'd say one of the other series, though, that really demonstrates his style a lot is FLCL. It's definitely got the character design all over it, as well as the explosions. There's pretty much at least 20 in every single episode. It is insane. You guys need to check that one out as well. It's only a six-episode series, and it's really funny. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, but it's awesome. There's even a South Park reference in there, believe it or not. Did I mention that Yoshinori likes robots? Because he worked on Hero Man, which is a pretty interesting series. It's actually co-created by American comic book creator Stan Lee, and he worked on a scene where Hero Man actually charged up and shot a beam. He also worked on Panty Pony Dash, and he worked on the opening portion of that series. Very, very goofy. He's also worked on Panty and Stalking with Garter Belt, which is another famous Gynax series, which, if you haven't seen it, you just kind of have to see it to believe it. It's basically the Powerpuff Girls on drugs, and he worked on the scene after Panty and Stalking go through their epic transformation where they take out their weapons, which... You kind of have to see it to believe it. It's hilarious. And to end it all off, he worked on a Pokemon movie. Yes, he worked on Pokemon the movie White, Victini and Zekrom. He did the battle between Embor and Oshawott. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure and see that movie. And that concludes another edition of Legendary Animators. Guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, we'd love to know what you guys are thinking about it. Let us know in your comments below. And if you've seen any of the series that Yo Yoshinari has worked on, we'd love to know what you guys thought about them as well in the comments. And remember, again, to check out the description box and check out those AMVs again. They're really awesome. Also want to give a big thank you to our good friend Blue Sakuga for giving us a lot of information and pictures 
for this series. It has been very, very helpful. And make sure and check out his AMVs as well. They are really, really well done. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up. It really helps these videos out a lot and gets them spread around YouTube. Well, that concludes this edition of Legendary Animators. Until next time, guys, Super Comic Guru 9000, out.